Hi, good day. This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information would be in the description box below. For those of you that made donations to my channel, I thank you. It was greatly appreciated. All right, so let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has to say to you guys this week. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you... You are not receiving any messages this week from anybody talking about stability, where money is concerned, or just being cautious or caring about you. <clears throat> All right. We have the Tree of Pentacles for Monday, the Ten of Pentacles for Tuesday, the Ten of Swords for Wednesday, the Three of Swords in Reverse on Thursday, the Hierophant. On Friday, the Six of Swords in reverse on Saturday, and the Queen of Cups on Sunday. All right, so what I'm seeing here is so some of you are probably starting a new job, or it could be a company that you are trying to get off the ground. Financing for this project could be on its way to you right now, but you are going to receive some kind of some type of financial. Um, Some kind of financial gain this week for some of you it is a job that you are about to start or get through it but on Wednesday you have the ten of swords some of you are feeling ultimately betrayed by somebody or within a situation but an ultimate betrayal probably has something to do with a broken heart so for that part of it I think that has to do with a relationship <clears throat> could be with a family member or your significant other. But we have the Hierophant here. So commitment is coming to you. Long-lasting commitment, marriage maybe. Because you don't want to move on from this person or this situation just yet. Because you want to give them your cup of love and you want to have a committed relationship with them. Alright, so let's see. Tree of Pentacles for the sign of Scorpio. Sorry, to clarify the Tree of Pentacles for the sign of Scorpio. Alright. So we have the Two of Pentacles. So you guys were juggling something. Juggling two ideas. Juggling two people maybe. Um, but there is a duality there. Where there is a choice that needs to be made when it comes to stability. Because you have the two and then the three. So there is progression that is happening along the way for you guys because this whatever this is if it's a relationship if it's a business if it's a job it is going to bring you your wish fulfillment you are going to be really happy this week but for some of you this is not going to be a surprise because this is you although you're feeling that you're not in your ordinance and things aren't changing for you know that things are Spirit is saying to you this week that things are changing, even though you can't see it yet. All right, so the Ten of Pentacles, happy home, being able to financially secure yourself. That is the feeling that you are going to be having on Tuesday. Yeah. Because you were feeling like you were down on your luck, you had no choice, you didn't know where to turn, what was happening, you didn't know. And it was like, what is happening here? And you were making requests to the universe, manifesting a job maybe, because you were feeling like your hands were tied, eight of swords. You're feeling like there is nothing you can do about the situation you are in. But spirit is saying financial help is coming towards you this week. <clears throat> I 
Mm -hmm. And you will be able to stand in your Queen of Cups energy. This could be another water sign. Or this could be you moving towards a person to offer them some type of love. Because you are ready for this type of love with this person. And you have been thinking about it for quite some time. But it will seem like they betrayed you in some way. But you are willing to forgive them. Forgive what had happened in the past. Trust your intuition when it comes to them. Offer them love again. And hope that things work out this time. Because you, you are sending them messages of passion. It could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sag. So it seems to me that Scorpio, you are the ones reaching out to this person, telling them you love them, telling them you want a relationship with them, telling them that whatever happened in the past is in the past and you're willing to forgive them and move on. Let's see what they are going to say. <clears throat> they are willing to move on to calmer waters with you, but they aren't giving you any more than that because they don't really want what it is you're offering. Because it's like, if you were the person that cheated on them, or if it's vice versa, it is a general reading. Take it how it resonates with your situation. Whoever did the cheating doesn't really want to return to the other. And they're not taking what is being offered. But somebody wants a commitment here. Somebody wants a marriage. Somebody wants a long-term commitment, stability, that kind of thing. And I think it's you, Scorpio. Because you're tired of the sneaking around, sneakiness, deceptive behavior when it comes to this person. Yeah. But this person is telling you that they don't want to work it out with you. Or at least if they haven't told you, that is what is in their head. Because you love this person. You really do love this person. But I don't think this person is willing to give you is reciprocating those feelings. Hmm. But we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Though this Knight is slow, <clears throat> his offer is sure and steady. So if you are the one offering this person this, you might want to take your time. It might take some time before this person realizes your value to them. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I had two cards flip over any deck I'll be taking them. We have the Ace of Pentacles. You're not ready to move on because you want something stable with this person. You want a brand new beginning with this person. You want to start from scratch and move up the ladder again with this person. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, but this person is making decisions based on facts. They aren't using their head over their heart. I think they are being ruled by emotions. Or it could be you, Scorpio, being ruled by emotions of this person probably stepping out on your relationship. Yeah. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Or it could be somebody that is ready to take charge of this situation. It could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. But from what I've seen in the former cards, I don't think this person really cares about you much, Scorpio. This person is all about themselves. It's, it's a selfish kind of energy that is coming off this person. Hmm. But you're willing to offer them love because you want marriage with them. You want stability, you want a house, you want a home, you want their last name. But... <sighs> There is a lot of things happening in this relationship. It's very, very burdensome. And it keeps you up at night worrying about it. Because you see this person as the Queen of Pentacles. Does, it could be a man or a woman. I'm just reading the energy of the card. It, it, it could go vice versa. It's not gender specific. This person, you see them as a caring, nurturing person. You see them as somebody that can love you for who you are. But for some reason, this person doesn't seem to be interested in what you think. <clears throat> because they're not rushing into you to give you any passion. So 
Scorpio, what is happening with you guys this week? The collective that I'm patching into the energy for. This person is a piece of wood. Because it's like they don't care about this relationship or care about you for the, on the whole. Alright, let me get the overall energy for you guys this week. What is the best advice you can give to Scorpio this week, Spirit? Let me see the overall outcome for you guys for this week. Alright, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm hmm. We have the world in reverse here. You are not ready to close off a cycle with this person to start another one. You are willing to offer them truth in light of the situation. You guys are willing to go the extra distance to try to make this person understand how much you love them. But this person is hurt. And this person is locked off. And they really don't care what you have to say anymore. This could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. But this this energy here feels like the person you're dealing with. Because this doesn't feel like your energy. What I feel for your energy is like the five of cups. Because you want this person to love you. You want this person to be committed to you. Because you do love this person. Hmm. One more card, Spirit, to clarify the Knight of Swords. All right, so I had two. All right, okay. It's either you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody felt left out in the cold. And somebody isn't willing or ready to apologize or even hear what you have to say because they're not willing to work on this with you. And they are holding something very close to their chest. Or it could be you holding something back from them. Mm. But you are going to tell them how you feel. And you are going to tell them that you love them. And you are going to try to get them to understand. But they are in the hermit mode right now. They need space. Because they cannot see you for who you are. They don't even appreciate you for who you are. Hmm. Because they don't want a commitment with you. And it makes no sense you wait around. At least that's what I just heard in my head. Somebody just <clears throat> is going to say that to one of you. I don't want this commitment. I don't want you. And it makes no sense waiting on me. You are going to find the strength though. To come out of this toxic relationship. Because this is a toxic relationship. This energy that I'm feeling. You are putting more work into this than this person is. Some of you are going to find your way back to religion, back to church, maybe. Hmm. This is a toxic relationship, Scorpio. Recognize it for what it is, and if the universe is moving it out from your part, be smart enough to walk away. It is going to hurt, but this person really doesn't care about you. All right, have a good week, Scorpio. For those of you who would like to have a personal reading with me, check in the description box below. Have a good week.